Morning all. Okay, let's continue some training. Play Rated Puzzles page on Chess World. So uh, I'm going to click Start. Instinctively, there looks to be a lot of forcing moves available to check out. The Queen and the Two Rooks seem to be working quite dangerously together. But how to finish this? Oh, there is a move which springs out, which... Uh, and there's also a knight ready to spring into the position as well. Mm, potentially with devastating effect. Black's pretty passive, don't have to worry too much about white's own king safety at the moment. Uh, so the knight coming to g5 sometimes, the rook sacrifices and the queen sacks need to all be investigated. So let's get on now to prioritize some uh, forcing moves. Queen h6 I don't think does too much. Rook G G6 it reminds me of a puzzle a couple of weeks back where I completely missed the similar position where you could just take here. It is threatening, mate. So if it takes Queen G6, King H8, isn't there Queen takes H6 there? Because if Queen H7, there's Rook takes F8, which means actually that's pretty dangerous. I think this is pretty dangerous stuff. That Queen H6 position, because if King G8. Rook g6, king f7, rook g7 is going to be winning queen. This looks very, very crushing and logical, actually. Rook g takes g6. I'm going to go for this one, actually, without further ado. Because it seems clear to me that f8 hit is hit here. Okay, so what master game is that? Let's have a look at the final position. So as I mentioned, if here, I think just takes white's material up. Um... <clears throat> The master game, how did he get that position? Great position to get. He went into a kind of stonewall attack later. The light square bishop exchanged off. He got a nice kind of a stonewall attack. He gave up his dark square bishop, which hit, I think, puts pressure on the light squares more. Yeah, it's brutal, brutal, brutal. Let's play the computer. See if we can smash the computer with that little magic solution. High resistance. Yeah. I'm going to go with this continuation. Okay, I think um, it's just clearly better for white. Don't have to take that too far. There's two extra pawns over here. There's two extra pawns. Well, there's pawns over there. Yeah. In fact, we can queen over there if we want to beat the computer. I think it's going to be even clearer soon. Let's not carry on too much. All right, you get the picture. So let's go on to the next one. White play. Okay, an immediate forcing move on the F file stands out. This looks pretty straightforward because of that pressure. It's just crying out for an F file disaster. And I think there is a good move here. Prioritize this. Rook takes f7. Rook takes bishop d5. Rook f8. That pin is unfortunate. I think not taking on f7 but playing bishop d8 there, because king's not going to be moving. And if bishop e7 to follow, well, there's knight f5. There's knight f5. Well, have a look again. Rook takes, rook takes, bishop d5, rook f8. Maybe in that position, rook f6. So knight f5, I think we can uh, take on g6 first and then take on f7. Might make a big difference to win another pawn. And, and this is something else I'm missing in this position. Other forcing moves don't seem to do anything. Bishop g6, rook f6. Actually, rook f6 looks not that bad rook f6 as an alternative i'm not sure what black's doing there can't move the kings of rook f7 bishop g6 on the way 
it might be the case rook f6 is stronger I mean we can still get that rook f6 in later with rook f7 rook f7 bishop d5 rook f8 rook f6 there or we can play it straight away I mean can we not mm. okay I'm gonna just check this okay just make sure Bishop d5 I think oh okay I can see something here I, I was expecting work cafe we're gonna check with against the computer but here I the forcing move can you see very forcing move and powerful using the pen yeah mm -hmm. But let's check the computer and we'll master game. Zombo. Right, just out of interest. How did he get that position? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty passive. It's called cool. positional plan stuff. Yes, yeah, nice game. By Zabo. I think he is famous for doing big simultaneous as well. Been a great grandmaster. But play against computer. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Why um isn't the computer gonna play rook f eight? <clears throat> now I think bishop d eight knight f five and if rook f here yeah? oh Now, if we go Bishop D four, though, isn't our Rook G six? Mm, Bishop takes Rook F six. This is better for White, isn't it? But how much better? It's only a pawn. Now, if we change sides, is there something more crushing then that I'm missing? I mean. Let's get all angles on this while we're here. So I'm, I'm going to play black. Oh, try and play an innocuous move. Oh, it's not playing that. Oh, okay. I'll give it um, three times as much to think. What does it come up with? I'm just wondering. Come on, you want to play rook? Don't you? <laughs> no. Yeah. So what? I uh, good. <clears throat> We're going to get a good bit of calculation. I hope out of this. It's looking at enough nodes. I hope. So what's the idea? I I played Bishop D four. <clears throat> Rook F six. Right, and knight f5. Oh, same as the game we just seen for g6. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. The g pawn is playing a, a starring role in this. It's not about winning g6, it's about getting the g-pawn to play a starring role yeah of course of course d6 leaving white a bishop up it's not about being a pawn up sorry about that yeah that's that was the theme of the puzzle and, and the sideline the g-pawn playing the starring role okay third one number three <coughs> so I like checking uh, rook f7 I mean, springs out, doesn't it? And the G pawn here might be playing a starring role. After say G six and Queen H eight would be mating with Rook F eight. So let's imagine Rook F seven, Queen C five. All right, let's have a look at G six there. Queen takes H five. Mm, not doing too much. Okay, in this position, okay, rook f7, queen c5, just rook g7 there, 
takes rook f7 is amazing yeah so rook f7 looks crushing queen c5 rook g7 king takes rook f7 yeah i okay i can't see anything else for white really okay i think the idea has to be not g6 losing the queen but rook g7 pretty, pretty straightforward today let's have a look how this position arose Jerome PK yeah he went to work for Ustrum Jerome PK he was one of the leading grandmasters at the time um, I've got a video one of his King's Indian games against Kasparov so Ustrum was one of the world correspondents a Dutch billionaire world correspondents for ICCF world champion and um, PK yeah I remember him in the magazines uh, yeah really strong GM so this is one of his attacking games huh? goes for it and if if I don't know how black could black have avoided disaster it, it was tricky wasn't it let's face it it was tricky Oh, there's only a speed playoff anyway. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I think Ostrom actually won it twice at least, the ICCF Correspondence World Championship. I might be wrong about that. But uh, yeah. Okay. Comments, questions, likes. Appreciated. Thanks very much.